hello so in this video i am going to show you how we can add product so for that first of all we need to create one table so in mysql i am going to create one new table table name is products and we need five field so here i am going to take five field first field we need id five primary key and auto increment second field we need company name then we need product name then we need unit means kilogram grams etc etc and then we need here and now i am going to save so you can see we have now product table is ready so now here we need to create new page page name is add underscore product so now i am going to create new page inside admin right click new page add underscore products yeah so we have now this page now we need to bind this page with menu so i am going to open this header.php and after this add new company copy and paste here i am going to write add new products So we bind this page here. Now here I am going to click on this add new product. Yeah, this is the blend page because we need to include this header and etc. So now what we are going to do, we are going to copy this all code of this add company and then we will change it so we can get this design also. So from this add company, I am going to copy this all things and inside add products i am going to paste so again i will tell you i copy all the code from add company and i paste inside add products so i will get all the design that's why now here we are going to change heading add new products here also we are going to change yeah here i am going to do so line number so we can get exact idea uh, these things we are going to change this table also we are going to change no problem so now step by step we are going to do i click on add new product so you can see in this page we got this add new product here also add new product now here we are going to do as per our need so you can see in table we take company name so we have already table with company you can see we have already this table so we are going to load company from this table so, so for that here we have to use drop down select company and we need here drop down only i am going to take normal because we need to check the look so i am going to give this class i am going to remove this text box and we are going to check we got proper drop down or not yeah you can see we are getting proper drop down so now inside this drop down we are going to fill values from our table so here we need to write select query select star from company name this is our table now here we are going to move loop while dollar row is equal to mysql ipha array then dollar res 
here we are going to take option and slash option and here we need to fill our column our column name is also company name so i am going to write here company name yeah so so now here you can see we have these two company we loaded i already added these two company here so we are getting that company name from our table that is fine here so now after company let me check column name after company we need to take product name so product we are going to enter so we need text box over there so before that i am going to write here name of this drop down company name i am going to copy this div and paste here enter product name and here we need to take input type text name product name and we need to class span lower that's fine now we are going to check yeah we have here a drop down uh, sorry we have here a text box but we need to give placeholder enter product name and now we get here enter product name placeholder now next field we need unit we have also table of unit we have this table so we are going to load unit from this table so again we can copy this we can paste here here select unit table name is units and our column name is unit here i am going to write unit this is fine so i am going to check here so you can see we got here unit also and then after we need packing size for this we need to use text box so i am going to copy this paste here here we are going to change name packing size and here also placeholder enter packing size that's fine here we are going to change this message this product is already exist we are going to write condition also so now here you can see this is for displaying when we are going to load this page so here we are going to change so here we need to fill this field first i am going to copy this all things product name then unit and then packing size yeah here we need to change our table name products here the same thing we need to pass the same column so here we already company name then we need to pass product name then unit and then 
page in size now we can remove underscore from here here we are going to pass edit page name edit products.php and delete products.php so now here we are going to check yeah but right now we don't have any product that's why we cannot see any product over here now we are going to perform our insert query so here first of all we need to check we are going to check that products is already exist or not so here we need to check with company name product name unit and price we need to pass all things so here company name and sorry product name and unit and Taking size so here we need to pass our drop down or text box values so first of all for this company we have drop down with company underscore name here product name let me verify yeah product name for unit we have unit and for packing size yeah name is packing underscore size yeah this is fine if we find the same thing we are going to display error message we write already code in previous page also so you know what is the meaning of this now here we need to perform insert query here we need to pass all the parameter your company name is already passed then we need to pass product name so product name then unit and then packing size and I am going to add this or die after this select query also so if you are getting any error we can see that so now I am going to enter one entry here I am going to select company Balaji then tomato wafer unit is gram and 100 gram save record inserted successfully let's wait yeah here you can see we are getting this record here now again I am going to enter the same value so we should get error you can see the product is already exist so this way we can add products here now next video i am going to show you edit and delete operation of this product page and then after we are going to start stock like when you are going to buy this product when you are going to sell this product means one kind of purchase and sales that we are going to start thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again